He is a legend in Western fishing, guys. He's not much. He hasn't won. He's won on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail. He's a two-time U.S. Open champion. He is uh, anchor of the year Dial Cup. He has won 37 fully rigged boats in his career. Uh, travels now across the country on the Bassmaster Elite Series. I'm thinking he's a six-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, right? Seven. Seven. Uh, Seven? Seven. Is this on? Seven-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Um, this guy, in, in, if you fish in Arizona, he is taking your money. If you fish in Northern California, he is taking your money. Now he does it across the country. Uh, always fun to get him out here and, uh, and get him to hang out with us. He's going to talk one of the best deep water jig fishermen you guys will ever, uh, ever get to hang out with. But please welcome from uh, Phoenix, Arizona, guys, Murdoch, John Murray. Thank you, Kent. Appreciate it. Glad to see you all out there. Well, one thing, the, the, the big thing I always get question when you go across the country like we do is, how do I go to a new lake, how do I catch a fish? I mean, that's, that's the million dollar question for most people. Whether it's your home lake and you fish it forever, or maybe it's a brand new lake you've never even seen before, really doesn't matter to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a process every time that I go to a new lake or a lake to sort of go through that process to, to locate those fish. Now normally I'm going to start with seasonal patterns. I'm going to start with, okay, it's, it's, almost, it's basically winter right now, so we've got to narrow our search down as far as our baits, but we still have to go through that process from shallow to deep to catch those fish. And that's the biggest thing. When I go out fishing, I pretty much am going to let those fish tell me how to catch them. I'm not going to tell them. They're not going to listen to me. Uh, these guys right here, they don't hear anything I'm saying. They don't care what I'm saying. They're going to react to their lake and what's in it. So I don't care if you're out on Folsom, maybe you go up to Bullard's Bar, maybe you go over to Shasta or Clear Lake. It's all the same thing. Follow routine. Okay? And the first thing I like to do this time of year is a rattling bait. This is a tungsten vibe by River to Sea. And by the way, if you need baits right now, you, you need to hit that River to Sea booth. They're, they're basically giving them away over there. These are eight, ten dollar baits they're giving away for like two bucks. But these are great baits, vibrating baits. These baits exactly imitate, <coughs> imitate a shad or bluegill or something a bass is going to eat. And the beauty of this lure, it doesn't take much to fish it. You know, basically, you're going to cast it out there, let it settle down, and you're just going to start a steady retrieve. And I've always heard when people describe this lure, you know, why would a bass eat something that makes so much noise? And this does. It's full of like a baby rattle is what it is. It has a nice vibration to it. You can feel it through the rod. But it has a lot of rattles. I don't know if you can quite hear them. A lot of rattles, it draws a lot of attention. And the best explanation I ever got, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I always use it, is if you're, at your front, you're sitting on your couch in your, in your living room and the doorbell rings. We get up, you get to the door, you open the door and there's a $100 bill there. Well, I'd pick it up and I'd go back in if no one's around, right, wouldn't you? Well, that's what they say a rattle trap or a vibrating bait or any of these rattle baits are. Basically, they hear the rattle, a bass senses, hears the rattle, however you want to say it, looks up and then he sees a bait that looks like dinner and he's going to eat it. He forgets about the rattle the minute he sees the real bait. So I don't know the exact scientific reason why bass love this bait so much, but I know that I can cover a lot of water with this bait, catch a lot of fish in a lot of conditions. We could go on the Delta right now, catch fish with this bait. You could go to Folsom, you could go down to Lake Havasu. I mean, you could go to a lot of places around the country. The biggest key is letting it <coughs> get to the depth and let it get to the retrieve that a bass wants. 90% of the time, I'm just going to slow it, throw it out and have just a slow, steady retrieve. Let the bait do all the work. Just a little flashing down there, a little vibrating. The tungsten weights in this bait allow it to just have a good, natural swimming action in that bait. Okay? Now, once in a while, a lot of times if you're fishing some of the bigger lakes, you really want to let it go to the bottom. And this is a technique that's been very popular the last 
four or five years on some of the, the Colorado River lakes. Let it go all the way to the bottom like a jig and then actually pull it off the bottom like a jigging spoon and let it go back down. So basically it's hopping along the bottom. Now this is a technique that can work in water from two feet to 50 feet deep. Just let that thing get all the way to the bottom. But you can see it just looks like an injured dying chaz. If water's down, you pull it up, settles right back down. This is the rare C tungsten vibe. This is about a three quarter ounce, good all around size. They have great colors. You know, the, the standard color schemes for this, the ones that I'd always recommend is something that looks like a shad and then something that's bright red or something that looks like a crawdad. Those are the two favorites on this bait for me. But you can see, you can, it's very versatile bait in the way you want to work it. And a lot of the lures that I pick, I can work them a lot of different ways, okay? I can, I can fish them shallow, I can fish them deep. I don't have to have a bunch of lures to do that. But that's what I do. I start with this, I'd cover a lot of water. Just get in the pockets, get out on the grass lines, wherever you got, throw this thing and cover water and let those fish see if they want to chase it. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Throw it on about a seven foot rod, seven and a half foot rod, 15 to 20 pound line, fairly heavy line, and just slow retrieve that back. Let the bait do all the work for it. Generic names are rattle trap, uh, vibrating bait, any of those, that's exactly what we're talking about here. But the rattle and vibe by uh, River to Sea is, is a really good lure to start with, okay? Now one that's sort of taken a, especially out here in California, Arizona, all the places I fish, by storm is a swim bait. Swim bait has a lot of those same properties we just talked about, but this is a lot more natural looking. This is actually a rig walker. A rig walker by River to Sea, same thing. It's a, it's a very natural looking bait. Looks exactly like a minnow in the water. It's weighted. So I can throw it out, let it settle down, and now I can just start a steady retrieve and let that tail just swim and kick and look very natural coming through the water column. Okay, A swim bait is going to have uh, a little more finesse to it is what I would call it. So instead of that loud vibrating bait, now basically all you have is that little uh, quivering tail going through the water. And it's a very soft action tail so it doesn't take much to uh, get that tail moving and it looks, you can mimic anything with this. If you're on a lake with herring, you're on a lake with hitch, you're on a lake with shad, bluegill, whatever. Now I've taken the hooks off all these so sometimes it doesn't keel quite like it would if I had the hook on it. But you get an idea of how good that tail is. And it's pretty much the same thing as we just talked about. Throw that thing out there, let it settle down towards the bottom, and then just start a steady retrieve. Just enough to get that tail moving, covering the water. Once in a while you can let it settle back to the bottom if you want. You can work it like we talked about with uh, a hopping motion or something. Let it swim to the bottom. However deep that is, five feet or 50 feet. And then you can lift it and let it go right back down. Work it like a jig. The rig walker by uh, River to Sea is just a tremendous all around, very natural kind of bait that you can cover a lot of water, catches all the species. The beauty of this, this rig walker is that you can catch the stripers that are in here, you can catch largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass. There's not a species that will not hit this bait. It's so natural and so, so well lit. When they grab this bait, it's soft. I mean, it is soft. There's nothing to it, okay? It's not going to have any uh, hooks or any uh, hard parts to it. So it's very natural when they grab it. The colors are excellent, so you can really match it. Now as far as tackle with this, very similar. I mean, it's about a seven and a half foot rod. I mean, it's probably 15 pound fluorocarbon line, somewhere in there. This one is about a half ounce total. Okay, the rig locker comes about a half ounce. And I can really allow it to get to the bottom and follow contours. Um, it's made for putting on a, an, an Alabama type rig or something, but this is a great bait just alone. 
This is one of my favorite baits if you have smallmouth or small or spotted bass in a fishery because it's just the right size for them. That little tail is just kicking with a very little energy. So the little swim bait by River to Sea, man, that, that is a all-around bait. You can fish it around a lot of different cover, docks. You know, one of my favorite ways to fish this is really if you have a lake with docks, like Clear Lake, is just skip this thing underneath, get it real low, and skip it up under the dock, and then just slow all that thing out there. It looks exactly like a little bluegill or a little uh, pitch or some sort of shad swimming out from the bank. Little swim bait, little natural swim bait. Cover a lot of water, catch a lot of fish with it. Probably um, one of the most versatile lures you can use right now. And uh, obviously you can upscale, you can upsize, there's a bigger size if you need. But let those bass tell you what they want.